Hey everybody, welcome back to Like Clay. This is part three. We are entering the library, which this doesn't exactly look much like a library, but... Alright. Looks like a, a catacomb. We're not done here yet. This is the exit. Okay, I gotcha. Okay. Walls were talking to me. I see you are still here. Well, it doesn't matter now, does it? You are too late. Well, then why are you so mad, huh? Why are you so mad? If it's too late. Let's listen to this answering machine. My dear friend, as I have already mentioned in the memo that I have sent to you, we need to push our members to level 4 more quickly. There are only 5 days left until we get to meet him and sit beside him on his oh, golden no. throne. Every member that is not level 4 by then is useless to us and will be eliminated. Please make sure that our followers understand that. Eliminated? So they're all just gonna die. What the heck? Alright. What? There's three levels of this. How'd they get the money to construct this? Test of faith. What's this? Uh, at Sandra, can we meet somewhere to discuss how I can make it out of here? I fear for my life. This is the trap. Sure, I'll be waiting for you in the chapel today at 9 p.m. Be careful. Watch out for cameras and priests. Don't trust anyone. We have sworn to help people who want to leave. I'll be careful. One of the books mentions that in order to receive Shor's gift, we first have to prove to him that we are worthy of his gift and make the ultimate sacrifice. Are they really talking about suicide? That's, a, that's Tom. A true child of Shor would not question him. Hmm. And that's the High Priest, you can assume. Which is also Tom, I think. Huh. Cause like... It kinda looks like the same handwriting, almost? It's just kinda- it's- it's wider. But like... It's very similar. Anyway. Now they are showing you their true face. Remember all this talk about love and joy and happiness? Well, that's all gone now. Now all they talk about is hate and fear and sin. And yes, those fools believe they can reawaken shore and be immortal if they kill themselves. You are sinners and you will burn. Okay, High Priest. Many died on the path to shore. Some were killed by the priests. Others fell victim to the tests created by the High Priest. Yes, those tests were created by man, not a god that doesn't exist. By the way, I've changed the safe code to 8996. 8996, huh? Suffer for sure, and you'll be enlightened for the Lord. Why? These are just torture devices! I don't even want to know what's in that room. Alright, turns out we didn't actually have to do the test of faith. What? Why? Is keeps doing that. We got our piano player in here? Okay, 8996, folks. There's a safe around here. Labyrinth. Oh, we're not already in the labyrinth? Oh! What? Okay. I do have a couple complaints about this game. The first and foremost is the instant death. I don't think it adds anything except frustration. <laughs> Thankfully, the checkpoint isn't that bad, like... And we can't die again here. Interesting. I want to go into that room. That looks cool. How do I get in there? Um, okay, let's go... let's go down. Repent! Alright. I, I would rather not. I have nothing to repent for. No smoking! Oh yeah, murder's okay, but don't you dare 
Inhale tobacco smoke. Don't even think about it. 8996, that's the safe combination. Okay, let's keep going. What is this, huh? And does both Shore and his brother score okay? I, I, I think I get it by now. Like, you're not gonna tell me any new information, I don't think. If I get stuck, I'll, I'll definitely... Oh, this is a confessional booth. Do I have to go in there? Say no. Huh. Interesting. Can't read that. Where is the safe? Waiting room. Shot! <laughs> Can we go? Go two seconds without hearing you sing! What's this? A screwdriver? Please change the door code to 58872. That's 58872. This is a lot to remember. 58872. So. I don't know what I just did. <laughs> is that the door? Did I just. I think I missed something. Okay, I know where this screwdriver goes. It goes up here, I think. I don't know where that is. Oh, oh, hey, 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 hey. Here we go. What'd I get? Sandra? This is, uh, note two out of 1,111. It's probably not what that means, but, you know. Yes, Jen? I'm worried about you. Who did you meet? Someone who was desperate to get out of here. Were you able to help him? I hope so. Did you guys torture yourselves in one of those small chambers with the flashing lights? The chamber of fire was bad, but this seems to be way worse. Tom, don't question the high priest's methods. Suffering in the name of our Lord will help you to get closer to him and shield you from Skoro. Yes, I spent three hours in one of them. It was the worst time in my life. Looking back at this, I can't understand why I did those things to myself. Kevin. I'm starting to have doubts about this church. I know they may have saved my life, but now they are asking too much of me. They want me to torture and even kill myself? Tom. Tom, you are a fool. Kevin, Jen, and Sandra are worshipping Skoro. Turn back to the path of Shore. Repent, repent, and maybe Shore will forgive you. You know what's interesting? What if this is all just... This is all just Tom. It's all Tom. Like, he's... He's just... He's writing these notes to himself. And he's all the parties involved. And he, it's, it's his, like, inner struggle... With himself, you know? Like, he's fighting against... Him. That would be interesting. You fucker! Oh! You almost got me there. Um, do we know what the keypad in the priest's office is for? There's got to be a secret door somewhere. The code starts with 705. Now, please help me leave this cult. Tom, since you used your real name and they know what you look like, this will be quite tricky. However, they gave you two days to return to the path to shore. This is your time window to flee. You'll have to sneak out of the building during the night. Make sure there are no priests around and avoid the cameras. Then run away, stay hidden for a while. Try to forget all of this, and maybe you'll be able to start over again. Kevin. Why did you use your real name? Jen. I didn't think it would come to this. Tom. Damn those spiders, how can I get rid of them? Run away, leave everything behind. Kevin. Someone is following me, there are spiders everywhere. Right now, they are just watching me, but I'm afraid that it won't last. My hands are shaking as I write this. Why was I so blind? Why did I not see the truth? Tonight I'll try to escape. Goodbye, Tom. Run away, run far away, good luck, Jen. 705? It starts with 705, huh? So I gotta go back down, right? Alright, I got this. So that was note 4. There's a note 3 somewhere. 
I've read one, two, and four. Hmm. All right, let's go ahead. Seven zero five, huh? That's not it. You just had to press O afterwards. Right, that's why it was- okay. Looking back, it's obvious. Captain Hindsight is always right. What? I want to get this. What does it say? Shore's heartbeat. Uh, let's pick it up. My dear friend, it saddens me to hear that Tom Keemer has sinned. I hear with authorize you to imprison him, try to get him to confess his sins and repent. There might still be something good in him after all. Maybe Shore will forgive him while you're at it. Please try to find out who the tra other traitors are. Maybe he can give us some hints. Nails work best. That's what was happening in the prison. Huh. Was he the body I found? No. I don't think so. Huh. Why is everything so blue? Oh, what? They're after me. Okay. All right, bye. How about see you later, fuckers? I didn't do that. Can you feel Shaw's love? Nope. <laughs> nope, I definitely cannot. Ah, fucking hell. <laughs> Oh, it's silly, but it... <laughs> it got me. So where am I using this? <laughs> Goes to the labyrinth, right? Here we go. We're entering a new area. Yeesh, okay. Survive the labyrinth? What do you mean, survive the labyrinth? What's gonna be down here? How far into the earth does this go? Oh! All right, Super Mario 64. <laughs> what, is this a branch? Well, I'm trapped. First, you will break the twig behind you. Then you will run to the end of the labyrinth, where you will find the next holy ring of shore. Blessed be shore. You will kiss the ring of shore and then go to the exit and back to the library. May shore guide your steps. Eesh. My baby. First you will break the twig behind you. Then you will run to the end Our of the labyrinth. One. Where you will find the next holy ring of shore. Blessed be shore. One you will dead. kiss the ring of shore and then go to the exit and back to the library. May shore guide you the murderer. Pierce his lungs, break his bones, with sticks and stones. How do we get out of here? Rip his skin off, tear his eyes out, make him bleed, make him suffer. He will pay for what he did to us. My poor baby, dead and gone. Destroy him. This is pretty funky, dude. And yeah, that's all the dancing I'm gonna do. I don't dance. This is like pretty, pretty hip, dude. Seriously, what do I do here? What? <laughs> that was so weird. I kind of liked it. What the fuck? <laughs> that was some albino lullaby shit right there. That was cool. All right, let's try it again. All right. Bye bye. Fuck. Nope! Get the fuck! Shit! Fuck! Uh.
What? Oh, there's like a... There's like a blow dart machine. Whoa! Holy crap! It is two of them. There's the ring. <laughs> okay. Wait, we're past it. Huh. Oh, this is the right. Okay. All right. Let's kiss it. Okay, would that open up? It's crazy. <laughs> there were like three of them there. What? Holy shit. What? What the heck am I supposed to go here? These are all closed down. Alright. We gotta avoid that weird albino lullaby thing. If you've seen a vinyl lullaby, you know what I'm talking about. It totally has the same feel. Fuck! <laughs> Those things. Where's it gonna drop me off? Okay, good. I was about to say, where's the checkpoint? Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> it's kind of kind of tough, but got through it. All right, so we're back into the library. Now what? I guess we go back to the main building. Or wait, does this go back to the main building? I think this goes back to the library. I think there's supposed to be something else we do in here. Hmm. It's interesting that basically we're ascending the levels ourselves into the cult. Like, we're going through all the steps. We went to the Chamber of Fire. Don't you realize you are too late? You have lost, you cannot save anyone. And I will be you sure forever. Yeah, I don't, I don't really give a shit. Oh fuck! Why? Whoa, 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 whoa! I don't know where I'm going. Give me a ah! There's a spider right there. Ah, <laughs> uh, come on! Okay. Had to dodge that one. Can't see. Wait, what? We go this way, right? Level 4 required to access this area. Well, we're level 4! We're here! We're going to the 5th floor? Sure, let's go! The heck are we now? Um, 
Tom did not survive. After two days in prison, his body gave up. Neither the bat nor the nails could get him to confess his sins and sure to forgive him. Just before he died, he gave us a couple of hints that will lead us to the remaining traitors. The priest didn't spare him. Isn't it amazing how people are willing to betray everything they hold dear to save their worthless life? Tom first betrayed the children of Sor and then his friends. Either way, he is gone now. Blessed be Shore. Why did we lose Tom? We did everything we could to save him. We helped him get back on his feet when he was down. We gave him a home. We showed him love and the path to shore. I don't understand how this happened. Why did he sin and abandon us when we welcomed him like family? At least I can find solace in the fact that he died a painful death. It is Shore's will. Who is this person? Because that's not the same handwriting. I don't think we've seen this one before. Oh, shit. Remember in part one, when we were at this exact spot and we heard breathing on the other side of the wall? Fuck. That's cool, because I was wondering about that. I was like, was that just a creepy little moment? No, it was like, it was relevant. Jim Stevens, he is looking for Tom Keemer, but he is too late. Even though the transition is complete, and I will be with Shore soon, I don't like the idea of this guy sniffing around. There's not much I can really do about him, though. I need to finish the ceremony. I can't wait. Maybe Shore's spiders get rid of him. Maybe he falls for Scoro. That would serve him right. Alright, I guess we'll go to floor one now? I don't know. I thought maybe there was more to do up here, but apparently not. So... This game is currently on Itch.io. It does have a Steam Greenlight page out. Just figured I'd drop it in here on the elevator ride. It has not been greenlit yet. It's been on Greenlight for months, I think, so... If you like what you see, the Greenlight link is in the description to help get this game on Steam. It's certainly better than a lot of the other shit I've seen on Steam. So, that has gotten greenlit, so... Just throwing that out there. Hello? Huh. Ah! Oh. Okay. Oh, shit! I thought maybe I had time. Okay, so it's like right here. Bup, 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 bup. How the heck are you supposed to get through that? I like sprinted right there. Okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Damn. So that's what you do. Got a key, okay. Let's get the fuck out of here now. <sighs> All right. I don't know what this key goes to, but. The person that you're looking for, Tom Kamer, well, he's dead, I'm afraid. He sinned. He tried to betray us. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. He tried to save his soul. We tried everything we could to get sure to forgive him. But to no avail. In the end, we had to let him go. We could not let him fall for Skoro. That's the least we could do for him. Alright, yeah, sure, whatever. Alright, where where do we go? Where do we go? Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, let's get out of here. Uh what what does this key go to? Anyone? 
was the key go to? Okay, so I gotta go, gotta go back to my apartment, which is basically where we just were. Couldn't we have broken through the glass? But it wasn't glass. It was a wall when I was last in there. All right. All right. Bye bye. What? What? Excuse me? You are following the wrong god. You follow the god of lions. You will never leave this place. Well... What is this thing? What? Follow you where? Here? Yeah, this is different. Um, where are we going? Oh yeah, we want these on, actually. Thanks. We're going to the sixth floor? Looks like it. Okay, alright. Let's do this. Red blocks. Oh, it goes to this one. Where am I going? Uh, I didn't say. Oh my gosh. So much for going back to our apartment. Seems that, like, our reality is being controlled now. We've kissed the ring too many times, you know? Find a way out of this place. Who keeps playing that damn piano? Shore will set you free. I thought it said Shore will set you on fire. Which is probably more consistent with his character. My dear friend, we did it. We caught the last of the traitors, Kevin and Jennifer. They are sedated and locked up. Since they are little four, I've decided that rather than killing them, we will keep them drugged and toss them into the abyss. I don't like the idea of granting them eternal life after all they have done, but the thought of seeing them burn in hell for all eternity amuses me. Now we can finally focus on the ceremony. The preparations are almost complete. The most important part is to make sure the flock stays calm. Well, what's the, uh... 4125? Got two more notes in here. My dear friend, what happens when all the level 1 to 3 members, you might wonder? With the help of Shore, his trees, and the spiders, I will eliminate them, for they are of no use to us anymore. This is an act of mercy, for we should not tempt them with a goal they can never reach. That doesn't make any sense. Once this is done, I will jump into the abyss and be with Shore and all of you again. So, mass suicide, the end goal of every cult. My dear friend, I've spent a lot of time thinking about who should have the honor of jumping first. The one who jumps first will be the first to be with Shore and experience immortality. Some might say it should be me, for without me, all this wouldn't happen. While this is true, I'm still needed here at the moment to make sure everything runs smoothly, and therefore I've decided that I'll be the last to jump. I've decided to leave it up to fate uh, who jumps first. No matter who jumps first, he or she has proven that he or she is worthy, and I'm sure Shore will welcome him or her with open arms. So, one criticism I have about this game is that a lot of the notes are kind of unnecessary. Kind of just saying the same thing over and over. I, I, I definitely appreciate world building, but... Like, a lot of the notes, after I read them, I'm just kind of like... Well, I kind of already knew all that, you know. Put your belongings into the storage boxes. 
Th this isn't in a storage box. Somebody wasn't following the rules. All right, upstairs or downstairs? Upstairs first. Anything here? Another answering machine with messages, I assume. We'll go there if we need it. I assume it's just gonna be him talking about Shore again. One of his monotonous sermons. This is another chapel. You have two chapels? My sacrifice will set him free. Okay. Who is your lord and savior? Do you want to live what? forever? Yes. You have waited long enough. Yes. yes. You have passed many tests. Yes. You have suffered. Yes. You deserve to be with Shaw. We do. Will you hesitate when it is your time to jump? No. no. Will you accept his gift? Yes. Are you prepared for him? Yes. Are you ready for him? Yes. Shore awaits us. us. Alright. Wait for the green light. Okay. That took a, that took a while. Wait for the green light. I'll do what I want, actually. Wonder what awaits us at the end of all this. Is there gonna be abyss that we jump into? We, we've gotta jump into the abyss, right? That's gotta be how all this ends. Cause life can't go back to normal after this. The apartment building wasn't normal. We saw it slow descent you know, over the course of the game. Like, when we first arrived there, there was, like, rave music and stuff. And then at the end, it was silence, and the doors were missing. So, you know. Oh, I got killed by a spider. I didn't even see it. <laughs> I was looking behind me. Alright, this time I'll look out for it. Oh, there they are. How the heck do we get out of this? What is that? Just a rock? Oh, this is that room. Right. So what do we do here? Uh, let's see different symbols. Any hints for us? We just gotta step on. I mean, huh? What would the hint be? Do you think? Oh. I see. Okay. Well. Maybe we step on... No, 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 no. So it's not an order, it's not a sequence. This one. It's a spider. They love their freaking spiders. They're like their little errand boys. There's another way back there. Syringe. Oh, wow, look at all these. Oh, and then they got band-aids, cool! There's one, and then two. Wow, look at all these drugs. my sacrifice. What? He just now jumped into the abyss? This is the abyss? Do we jump off too? Do you think? Oh heck, let's do it.
No, 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 it set us back. We weren't supposed to do that. Okay, gotcha. 